A host of Western nations and donor countries are expected to attend a conference on Somalia in London on Tuesday. The conference will seek to endorse the United Nations Security Council's resolution that extended AMISOM's mandate as well as reiterate support for the African mission. Mohamed Hirmoghe tells us more. More than 50 government officials as well as representatives of the United Nations, African Union and IMF have been invited to attend the second London conference on Somalia. The London Conference on Somalia comes amid rising surge of attacks in the capital Mogadishu. Despite the gains that Amazon, Ethiopian and Somali forces have secured against al-Shabaab, the recent tragic and despicable attack on Mogadishu reminds us how much work we still have to do. That is why I'm co-hosting a second London conference together with the Somali president, Hassan Sheikh Mohammed. Together, I hope we can all get behind a long-term security plan that helps Somalia build up its army, its police, and its judiciary, one that ends the Shabaab's reign of ter terror forever. Somalia's future, terrorism and piracy, as well as the strengthening of the military, police, judicial agencies, and financial management will be on the agenda. We're seeing the building blocks of a more stable and more prosperous country, a proper, legitimate federal government with a new president and a new parliament chosen by representatives from all regions and committed to reclaiming Somalia for its people. Somalia is emerging from more than two decades of internal conflict. The fragile administration Mogadishu has since established an ambitious six-pillar policy framework for recovery. Somalia made political progress over the last 12 months. Last year, the international community through London and Istanbul conferences supported Somalia's end of a political transition. The London conference will now be about how the international community will consolidate support for Somalia. The Somali government, however, says it prioritizes support in developing its armed forces to consolidate gains made. Somali National Force and African Union peacekeeping contingents have recovered strategic towns and routes. It's stable. Somalia can offer many things for Britain. Um, I mean, remember, Somalia has the longest coast in Africa. We, I mean, Somalia has a very fertile ground for farming. Um, and uh, more importantly, Somalia has probably one of the most potential people in the, in the Horn of Africa, so, or probably in the entire continent of Africa, very dynamic uh, you know, people. The London Conference will be one of a sequence of events that will support Somalia, including the G8 meetings and an EU-hosted conference in September on New Deal for Fragile States. Mohamed Mugabe, CCTV, Mogadishu.